Hello, hello everyone, it's Shelly with Chalk Couture. Tonight we are doing a demo on the St. Patrick's Day minis. So come on in, grab a drink or a dessert and join me. Hope everyone's having a great night. It's Wednesday. We are halfway through the week. Hi, Kathy. How are you? How did today go? I hope all is well. Hello, Miss Mary. Thank you so very much. Appreciate both of you. I'll be with you guys shortly. Oh, okay. All right, our broadcasting system went out. All right, let's see if we're live. I think we are. All right, hello, hello, good evening. It's a little late, isn't it? I'm about an hour late, but that's okay. No big deal, right? Today, I thought we would go green and do a little Irish today. So we have our St. Patrick's Day minis. I have a couple cutouts, um, just this four leaf clover uh, icon and then the little hat icon. Then I have some really interesting cutouts. What does this look like to you guys? Do you know the name of this? Uh, I was trying to put it on a white background so you could see. What do you guys call this? So when this was cut, this was all, this was one piece and this was one piece, okay? So this piece comes out and makes that. And then I was like, well, what am I gonna do with this? It's just a square. And I'm, I, then I thought to myself, it's the perfect size for minis. And then I thought, how cute would it be to be a little clipboard? So I found these little clips and we made it into a little clipboard. Still here. Good. I'm glad you're still here with us. Okay. So let's go ahead. That's it, Kathy. You're right. Um, so these will be in the Etsy shop soon. 
So look for those if you're interested. I have some fun little beads that I've had for actually probably a year. So it'll be kind of nice to use them. Um, here's some gold. We have some green. I really like these light green ones. And then there's some really fun ones in here. Let me get those out. They're little three leaf clovers. So maybe instead of these, the round ones, we'll use those. Isn't that fun? And then there's some green ones with polka dots. All kinds of fun beads in there. Yes, yes, yes. It's a Tabasco or a tobacco basket. Very fun. All right. I'm not going to do any kind of staining or painting of the actual wood. This was actually cut from um, a walnut. I wanted to try a walnut. Um, and I'll tell you what, a walnut is dirty. It does, it gets all sooty. And did I, oh, I guess I didn't turn that on. Okay, I was hoping to get that turned on so that I could clue this down. Um, but that's how that'll look. It's kind of two dimensional already. And then once we add these on, They'll just be cute little things that you can hang on your wall or put a little magnet on, stick it on your fridge or dishwasher or whatever. But here are the St. Patrick's Day minis. We are just jumping right ahead. All right, let's go to this guy. I ought to just, I should just cut them all, but we'll just cut out the ones we want. I love working with our minis. I think they're always so fun to play with. Okay, um, those cutouts also when you get them, you get them in a set. And I wanna say there are a whole lot of pieces that come with the St. Patrick's Day. So these are all the leftover pieces for the rest of those transfers. Cause some like have little pieces like um, the little horseshoe. It has the horseshoe and the word the luckiest is cut out separately. Um, this one, these little Two dads down there are cut separately. So um, you get a ton of pieces. And again, that's on Etsy. Uh, it's called Decor Cutouts if you're interested in that. But let's just pull out the two we like. We'll put these aside. These are gonna stay that way. Oh, I think my battery's dying. It won't stay on. Let's see. Let's see if this has any juice in it. Is that transfer under transfers? It should be. Yeah, it's you're not going to find it in the what's new section anymore because that was part of the winter release. And now we have the fresh start, which has the snarky minis. Um, but you can go into the search bar too and just search. Um, you could say Saint, like ST or Patrick's, and that should bring it up. And that one's dead too. That one is not staying alive. So let's try this one because we're running out of batteries here. All right, we'll have to plug this in and plug this in. Um, Kathy, Actually, if you go into after the video, if you go, this one's dead too. You guys, we may not be able to glue that tonight. Darn. Let's go put one of these on the charger. Let's see if we can charge it here while we're crafting. If I could get to it. Let's see. Um, Kathy, if you go to 
the description in the video, um, there should be a direct link. It'll say um, link to products or something like that. And it will say St. Patrick's Day Minis. If you click on that link, it will automatically throw that transfer in your cart. For you. Okay. Hopefully that's helpful. All right, so those are gonna stay the same. Again, this is just the inside of the border. And then I found this little cute clip and just kind of over the edge, just have that hanging out. I don't think I'm going to glue it. There's really no need to glue it. It's holding on pretty strong. Thought about putting it in the front, but then it brings your clip down pretty low. So I think I like it best just kind of hanging on the edge there. All right, so those can sit aside. Let's prep everything. You know we love to prep. Now we have some typical St. Patrick's Day colors here. Those are the outside, this is the inside. And I don't think um, there's a right or wrong way. So that's good. And the cutouts, also there's a link to the, I believe it's to the Etsy shop. If you can't find that, let me know. Um, but it's called Decor Cutouts and it's a shop. It's not someone's name. So usually in the search bar, you can there's a little down arrow and you can say shop for business. And then that's where you can put decor cutouts and that's all one word. All right, so we need a background color, the foreground, and then how we're gonna chalk it. So I think the chalking color, I think, all right, so I have orange peel. I have meadow because the meadow matches those beads really well. I do have our shimmer gold. And I don't think I'm gonna use that color, that's too light. I have black and then I have <laughs> parakeet. And look at this poor jar. You're welcome, Kathy. Um, I was trying to salvage it and it started to melt in the microwave. But I think we might be able to get some of it to work, especially because we're just painting with it. So I don't, that's okay. Um, so I think, I think what we'll do, I'd really like to use gold. But gold is, the shimmers are, you know, they're just so difficult to paint with. We can try. Where is, we'll try the Mod Podge uh, technique today and see if that helps. Because I think it would be fun to put gold on this foreground and then chalk the green on top. This one I might do the black and then do the green on top. So we can try that. All right, so black, gold, we just need to pick one of these greens. I guess we can do this one then, since we won't need two. Let's open our meadow. All right. Light spritz. And then I'm just gonna kind of move that around. Make sure they're nice and stuck. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and start painting. Light touch, give it a nice light touch with your brush. That way more of the chalk stays put. If you have acrylic paints or some other kind of paint, then that's fine too. This is the background we're coloring. If it was a really big surface, I would probably use a paint versus our paste. Okay, I think that's good.
Then we said black, so we'll get our black out. And I'm just gonna kinda go for it here. Maybe we'll do the light green on top here, since we did the dark as the background. I'll tell you what, that creamy dreamy uh, paste does really, it does a lot more, it's a lot better than it was. All right, gold we said. So what we're gonna try, this is kind of a technique I happened to just stumble on because I was painting one of our little display stand bases. Um, I just thought, well, what if I put this down because it kind of dries tacky, right? So it would have something to stick to, which is what we need. So let's just spread that. Ooh, you know what would be fun is if we had some scrapbook paper that you could Mod Podge as the backgrounds. That would be fun. Just a simple pattern. All right, I wanna make sure this has got a decent coat. That was kind of thin, so we're gonna add a little bit more. And I wanna make sure it goes edge to edge because we're gonna try to cover this entire thing with our shimmer gold. Okay, I think that looks good. Let's put all that over here. All right, let's get that dry to a tacky touch. Get the rest of these dry as well. I think all my quick dry tools are at my studio. I think that's where they are. If you feel like it's too faint or not to the color, you know, that's not to your liking, then of course go over it again. Just be aware that when you put something wet on a dry, if you put wet paste on a dry paste, you're gonna reactivate the dry paste. All right, so just be aware of that. Honestly, you're going to cover a good portion of the background pieces anyway. Um, I see brush strokes, but I'm all right. I'm good. All right. So this will go on top of here. So right, how cute is this? That's how that will look. And we'll do it in our parakeet green. Um, just be careful of your edges too. Those could be wet. I usually make a mess. That's normal. Very, very normal for me. Yeah, that got really messy. Okay. Let's stick those aside. All right, let's get that guy colored. Um, let's see. if we should try a brush let's try a brush today let's get open our shimmer gold we're just gonna dip it in there and yeah this really does help guys that does do the trick Sometimes when you use our shimmers without anything underneath it, like um, I know I used to always say, just do like a similar color as your first coat. I'll tell you what, Mod Podge works. It really does. Cause that shimmer just sticks to it. All 
Let me get a nice coat here. Look how that is so shimmery and glimmery. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that could have been disastrous. I just want to make sure it looks good. Again, or no, this is top part, but then we're going to really... Did I say I wanted to do gold? No, I wanted gold underneath. I'm going to make sure I get a nice coating here. It's almost like when you get glitter nail polish, right? That glitter doesn't want to go everywhere. How does that look to you guys? Looks a little dark, but then when you tilt it, it looks fine. So it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Close that up and let it get it dry. And then we'll chalk. Then we'll check our battery too. We'll see if we have enough juice in our battery to get everything together. dry for the most part. I think we're dry. Okay. Yay. All right. So then this will go on top of that and then we'll chalk. We said we're going to chalk that color on top or should we chalk black? Maybe we should do black, just so we keep the three colors going here. Then we would have to choke, do the gold on top. The hat would, see, I didn't really want the hat to be. I think we got to go parakeet. I think that's what we got to do. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and wax now when we wax the gold shimmer we may lose a little of the the look of the shimmer could dull it a bit but again most of that transfer is going to be the color so let's get it waxed and see what happens Still sparkles. Very shimmery. All right, but we're going to find a new spot on our paper towel here. Black. Black on the gold. Is that what you're answering to? Probably... Uh, I don't know. If we don't like the lighter green, then I'll do the other side and we'll do black. Let's see which one we like better. For the hat, I wanted like the, buck the buckle to be black. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and put this guy on here. 
This is still our older um, transfer vendor. So these aren't so see-through. I don't know why I'm not getting out my light box. Hello. Like, why wouldn't I do that? This just makes it so much easier. Okay. So we're gonna try the parakeet. We're gonna see how this works. Oh no, that is hard as a rock. It looks like it's wet. That is hard as a rock. Okay. Well, I guess we'll do gold. I am so bummed about that. All right, let's do gold. Ooh, it's like wet. That's strange. It's very old. Parakeet has been gone for a while. Let's do gold. Let's see how it looks. At least they will be consistent and look like they match, right? All right. It's cute. That's cute. All right, let's put that on here to dry. And then on this guy, I think we have to do black, right? That's what we said. So it'll be kind of, it'll look kind of like the hat does, just kind of reversed, but maybe not really. So we'll see. We'll see. I could do orange, but oof, I don't know. Orange would be a little crazy. Who's Irish? Comment with an orange heart if you're Irish. Okay, this one we said black, right? Right. It is kind of cute, isn't it? All right. I'm just gonna take a wipe because there's barely any gold on here. If you're catching the replay, welcome to the replay. You can answer these questions too. So if you're Irish, drop an orange heart. All right, we get that covered, then let's get that excess off. All right, all that excess off. Anything left on your squeegee, put it back in your jar. Oh, all right, so it is the opposite. I was not quite sure how that was gonna go. All right. Sometimes the whole uh, inverse and all that gets me. I don't know why. Sometimes. So that will sit on top. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. Okay. Very cute. Let's get these dry. I will check my battery, see if we have enough juice to put everything together. Ooh, Kathy's Irish. I kind of remember asking you that last year. How cute, you guys. Okay. 
Let me go grab my batteries. Oh, I'll take the other ones. Climbing over boxes, don't mind me. All right. Thank goodness for the charging block. And it charges pretty quickly too, which is nice. Let's warm this guy up. All right, warm baby warm. You can close up everything. These are our wax. What do you guys, which one do you like best? The hat or the four leaf clover? They're kind of inverses of one another. One has the gold background and one has the black background. Thank you, Kathy. Okay, so far our glue gun is on. That's a good thing. Good, good thing. We can clean our transfers. I'm going to put those out of the way. All right, those have dried. So we're going to go ahead and bring them back to life with some water. This is just regular tap water. Whenever you're cleaning, you can use tap water. If you are putting water in your jars, which you shouldn't have to, but if you do, then make sure you use... Um, Filtered water, bottled water, or distilled water. Okay? You like the four leaf clover. Hello, Sylvia. How are you? Yes, I know. In this setting, I'm good. We just let it sit for a minute and then it is ready to roll. Um, if I'm chalking something for myself or for a customer, um, then I wash my transfers right away. I'll get it to my sink and get it washed up. All right, so here's the gold comes right off. I feel like sometimes our shimmers clean better than our regular paste. All right, get that up. Turn these over. Sylvia, are you a four leaf clover? Says Mary. Are you a designer? This wet should take it to my sink, but I don't want to get up. So we're just going to use this. Guess we're waiting for our hot glue gun to warm up. The light is still on, so we're good. We are good. Okay, I'm just going to wipe this a little bit. This one is pretty clean already. A little sparkly, but that's okay. I know that the paste is not in my mesh. Ooh, so we are gonna just give that one final wipe down. And we can put this back on our backer sheet. You 
guys, you didn't remind me to write on the back. All right. So we'll just see if this is the one that goes to it. Oh, perfect. And then you can always check your transfer too. If you see it nice and clean like that, you've done a good job. Good job, hat. St. Pat Minis. I do some things with the past from Eastern Kentucky. Eastern Kentucky? I'm in Cincinnati, but we're probably still quite a bit away from each other. since, oh gosh, it was November of 17. They came on board in May of 17. And then I hopped on in November and have loved it ever since. Okay. Again, some colors are stronger pigment. That doesn't bother me if it stains a bit. I just want to make sure that my mesh is nice and clean, that I don't have any paste drying in there. Okay. Wave it in the air. Let's see if I get this right. Again, perfect. And you can see there's some staining, but the actual mesh itself is nice and white and clean. All right, we're gonna mark on this too. I don't know which way is up, so we're just gonna do an up arrow so we know how to line this up next time. Up arrow. Did I put that on the wrong, I might have done that on the wrong side. No, that's the paper side. Yeah, okay, I did it on the right side. Um, this is the St. Pat Minis, and this is the four leaf. All right, so we will put this aside to dry. So they dry. Let's start putting stuff together here. There's no right or wrong side to the cutouts, to the outline anyway. I'm just gonna hit the corners. We just want to get that on. There we go. Sweet. That looks so cute. All right, let's put our pieces together. I'm just going to do one glob in the center there. These give you about an eighth inch uh, outline cute. And then our hat. Smash that down. Oh my gosh, so cute, you guys. Ooh, that shimmers. Okay, let's bring over our little surfaces here. So now the question is, which one goes on which? I feel like this is bigger and a little more, I wouldn't say clunky, but just bigger. I think that should go on there. And our hat should go on our little clipboard. What do you guys think? Do you like that? All right, so it's either this way. Okay, so we're going to say way A versus way B. 
Which way do you like it? This is way B or way A. Tell me which way you like it. Get my little threaders out. Way B, Kathy says. So not this way, but the other way. Really, you like the hat in the, okay. Who else? Sylvia, Mary, what are you guys thinking? Cutting up some jute here, some twine. And then I have this little, this is like actually a dental, like flosser or something. You look how Mary says A and Sylvia says A. Um, this helps me get the beads on our string. So how do I want to do this here? Mm, I want to do them singular first, I think. Okay, no. I don't know that a double width strand can go through there. I don't think those holes are big enough. Well, maybe they are. It'll take, yeah, it'll take a little pull, I think. All right. All right, so we're going to do the light green. We're going to do our fun little shamrock. Let me think about this. How is this going to go? So we'll do our little shamrock. Oh, but he goes sideways. He doesn't go up and down. Hmm. That's a bummer. That would have been better if they had drilled the holes differently. And then we'll do a gold. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Why would they do that? Let's see if they're all on the side or if there's any on the top. I don't think so. Shoot. Well, let's see. I had thought I had my black ones too. Where are they? Do, 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 do. Oh, yep. Nope, those are. Let me go get my, I had my black beads in my hand and then I put them back. Let me go grab those. digging that sideways. I wish that would have been more, oh, oh that could have been ugly. Wish they would have been up and down, right? What do you guys think? We could do a black. There's black in there, so we're good. Okay, let's do this. Let's, we can pull that off. All right, so let's do a black. And we'll do our little lime green. No, now what we should do is replace that with our darker green bead. That one. There we go. That makes more sense to me. Okay. Do that. Okay. Now, put 
this through the hole. Eventually I'm gonna have to, whoops, that just broke anyway. So I was gonna say, eventually I'm gonna have to do that. So I'm gonna put the string of beads through, right? And we're gonna push those down. That's how we have it so far. And then at this point I can do my little knot to keep them in place. Do another one. All right, and then we're gonna do another knot so that it can hang. And we'll trim that excess off. So cute. And I think I'm gonna do it. That's cute. I think I like it sideways. You guys like it sideways? I think I like it sideways. I think that's how I'm doing it. I'm just gonna put a nice big old glob right in the middle. My gosh, so cute. Oh my goodness, that is so darling. All right, let's get another thingy. That was a pretty easy way to do that, wasn't that? Okay. Like I was thinking I was gonna have to double it and then put it through the bead. Let's see if we can do this without the threader. So let's mix this one up first. Let's do black. See, it's a matter of smashing that in half. Just, nah, the floss bead thing helps. It really does. Okay. Black first. Then gold. Green. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the love, my friends. Okay. This one I'm going to do through both of those holes. So hopefully that works. Try to bring them to the front here. I don't know. I think we need to do just one. All right, let's bring that back out without taking them off. Oh my gosh, you guys are too nice. Feed these back through. So I think I'm gonna do it, I guess I gotta do it from the front. Does anybody decorate Christmas trees for the holiday, like every other holiday too? Like do you do Valentine's um, trees or I have, I have my little pencil, it's not a pencil tree, it's just a very slim tree that I keep up. And I had really good intentions of decorating it last year. I did not. But I think that would be fun to have like a full tree every season or every holiday. And these minis are perfect for that. Absolutely perfect. Okay, I think I like that better. All right, trim.
<laughs> you heard I like macrame. Maybe I should do some around each bead. That would just be crazy talk. Sometimes Easter, yeah, Easter would be fun. A small tree. Okay. All right, so now we just have to glue this guy down. Turn the battery off. Oh, so cute. Just pressing it down so it dries nice. Oh my gosh, you guys. So stinking cute. Ooh, I don't know what happened to my screen, but it went crazy. What did I hit? There we go. There we go. Zoom out a little bit. Oh my, those are so cute. Okay, now what's your favorite? I make some wreaths, make crafts a lot with my granddaughter. Oh, that's nice. I don't have grandchildren yet. And my kids, I have two daughters and a son and they're like, yeah, mom, that's great, cute. That looks cute. <laughs> so maybe one day they'll get the crafting bug. We'll see. All right, guys, that's it for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. Happy hump day. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye for now.